Renee going down down the driveway with the baby for a walk. Uh, we'll fix something for her later. Honey, did you hear me? Oh my God. My God, what is it? What is it? What is it? I ruined it. <laughs> There's so much blood. Oh, honey, don't worry about it. It's all right. Are you all right? Are you okay? I'll buy you a new one. Oh, sweetheart, don't worry about it. It's a mattress. Are you all right? Are you okay? <laughs> honey, I'm here. It's all right. It's going to help you. Oh, it's not necessary. Besides, it's already done. I know. You're going to say that I'm in no condition to be making beds, but... That's right, isn't it? I just don't want to see you making beds, Mother. Cleaning up after me. It's really humiliating. Who changed your diapers? Who washed your bottom? <laughs> just... I thought I could hide away and handle this on my own. Don't be silly. I want you here. I want to help you. You're my baby girl. You don't think I'd ever leave you to handle this on your own or try and get through this on your own, do you? Come on. <sighs> Honey, whatever it is that you need and however you want to handle this, I'm here for you. I just, um, I just need to know with absolute certainty. <laughs> I just need to know that there's nothing somewhere some doctor could do for you, that's all. You think I've just given up? Mother, does that sound anything like me at all? The time for the doctors to have done something was when I was pregnant with Dominic. Yes, if I had had radiation, then it might have cured me. But it would have killed my son. I chose Dominic. No regrets. Which doesn't make this next part any easier. Oh, darn it. I don't want to go out in a sea of tears. You got that? I want to die the same way that I've lived. Looking for the good times to party. Okay, if that's what you want, that's what you can have. You're saying if you want the biggest, wildest, Wackiest, loudest party you can have it. You know what I'm asking, right? How long are your wishes, honey? I mean, when you asked your father and when you asked us for an old fashioned Christmas, what did we do? <laughs> yeah, I know. You gave me the best Christmas that anybody could ever want or have with all the trimmings. And everybody was there decorating the tree. Father playing the piano. <laughs> Nick singing. I thought the eggnog was bad enough. But... <laughs> My baby was christened. Mother, did you see Bridget's face? It's like she loves that child already, don't you think? Yeah. And Massimo, forget about it. He's besotted. My child is going to be so spoiled. Well, at least he'll be taken care of financially. Well, more important than that, honey, you'll be loved by everyone. You tell them about me? All about me? Well, no, come on. <laughs> not, not, not bad stuff. I don't want to be a bad influence, but... Mother, promise me that you will help take care of him, because he's going to need you. I am sure from time to time my child is going to need an iron fist. Do you think you can't count on me for that? Giving you such a hard time while I was growing up, baby. 
No, I was rebellious. Because I felt suffocated. I didn't see what you were trying to give me. I couldn't see it. Because I wasn't a mother. You know, when you realize you're dying, you start seeing things with great clarity. It's like there's this fog between you and the rest of the world, and all of a sudden it's gone. I always knew you'd be the realist in the family. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's weird. When you've got nothing to lose, it does something to you. You see everything in a different way. There's something I need to tell you. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to tell you or anybody. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> You're the strongest person I know, and I need some strength from you right now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you need. Whatever you need, baby. <gasps> Whatever you need. You have it. I promise. <laughs>